Hi, kindergarten friends. I'm back today and we're going to do another shared reading with the seedling that didn't want to grow. Now, I want to remind you, friends, that readers, good readers, ask questions as they read and they ask questions before they read and after they're done reading. And sometimes they stop in the middle of their reading and they ask a question and they think about that. So when we're reading our story today, we're going to stop and, and I'm going to show you how a reader would stop and hmm, maybe ask a question and think about something. Today I want to review two vocabulary words with you. The first word is this word, the word wilt, and wilt to become limp or droop down. And the second word was this one, swaying. Remember, you're moving back and forth from side to side, swaying. All right, friends, so today we're going to get started reading The Seedling That Didn't Want to Grow, and I'm going to show you how I stop and ask questions as the reader. Ready? The Seedling That Didn't Want to Grow. The Seedling That Didn't Want to Go by Britta Peckintra. It was spring and all the seeds in the ground were ready to grow. They all grew tall and straight, just as they were supposed to do. All but one. One little seed hadn't grown at all. I wonder what's wrong, said Ladybird. Let's just sit next to her and wait. Maybe she needs more time, replied Aunt. Ooh, friends, as a reader, I'm going to stop and I'm going to think, I wonder why this seed is taking so long to grow. Maybe it wasn't warm enough for this seed. Or maybe the seed didn't have enough water. Hmm, I wonder. Ant was right. Very soon, the seed grew small roots and tiny green leaves started to appear. Her life was about to begin. She looked so delicate and fragile. Ant and Ladybird fell in love with her immediately. It was dark on the meadow ground. By now, the other plants had grown so tall and wide that they blocked out all the sunshine. So the little seedling began her journey in search of the sun. Let's go with her, said Aunt. Hmm, I wonder why the seedling is searching for sun. Do you think you know, friends? Tell someone around you, why is this little seedling searching for sun? That's a question readers can ask each other. The seedling grew fast and soon the animals of the meadow came to join her on her difficult adventure. Ant and Ladybird were so proud of their brave little friend. The seedling changed with every day. Tiny leaves turned into bigger leaves. She formed deep roots and grew stronger and stronger. The seedling had become a little plant and was weaving and winding her way through the undergrowth. Her friends were always by her side and helped the best they could. Cricket guarded her roots. Mouse searched for the easiest paths. Ooh, friends, I wonder why would Cricket need to guard her roots? Hmm, what? I'm so confused. That's a question readers can ask. Why would Cricket guard her roots? What's going to hurt her roots? Hmm. And Ladybug, Butterfly and Ladybird flew high above, trying to find the perfect spot for her. Finally, the day arrived when the meadow undergrowth became thinner. For the first time, the little plant could feel the warm summer sun on her leaves. She knew this spot would be the perfect place. Ooh, I wonder what she's thinking, the perfect place for what? And then everything happened quickly. The little plant grew taller and taller and branched out. Buds started to appear, and they soon transformed into hundreds of blossoms. The little plant wasn't so little anymore. 
Her friends watched her transformation in amazement. Through the long, hot days of summer, she was the happiest plant there could be. All kinds of animals lived among her, many leaves. She was full of love and life. There's her little mouse friend. Many weeks and months passed by and the days started to get shorter and colder. Autumn was around the corner. The leaves of the plant had turned as golden as the October sky and she was gently swaying in the autumn breeze. As the leaves were beginning to wilt and fall to the ground, something magic happened. The wind blew all of her seeds. And as a reader, I might stop and think, why? Why did the wind blow all of these seeds from the plant? Hmm. Far and wide. And then everything turned gray and cold. It was time for the final goodbye. Little Mouse made a wish. I wish that I will see you again, she whispered with a tear in her eye. Snow covered the meadow like a soft blanket and everything went silent. Winter seemed to last forever. Until it was spring again and all of the new seeds in the ground were ready to grow. Oh, take a look at my friends. Look, look at the beautiful new plants. The seedling that didn't want to grow. Hi, readers. So that was a way that as you're reading, you could stop and ask questions and think. And I had a thought, how did the friends help this seedling grow? As a reader, I can even ask questions after I'm done reading. So what do you think? How did the friends help the seedlings grow? Can you think of one thing? Hmm. Oh, I can. Remember, they protected the roots. The mouse protected the roots so that the seedling could keep growing. Yeah. Hmm. How else did the friends help the seedling grow? Oh, they found the path and the ways to get to the sunlight, right friends? How did this plant change through the seasons? There were different seasons. Do you remember in our story, it started with spring? It went from spring to summer and then to fall and then winter. Friends, today what I want you to do is I want you to think about the plant and I want you to open up your packet to this page here that says, I can answer questions. Find the one that says, I can answer questions. And it says, how did the plant change through the seasons? There's the spring season, the summer season, the autumn season, and the winter season. I would like you to either write to me in sentences and tell me how the plant changed, or you may draw a picture, or friends, you could even do both if you wanted. I'm gonna start with spring, and I'm gonna start with this teeny tiny seed here. And it started to sprout some roots. So I'm gonna say the seed big g and sprouting sp er out ing sprouting eats oh yeah and then friends i want you to go on draw and write to me about what happened during our seedling in the summer and then what happened in the autumn? And then what happened in the winter? 
Can't wait. Hope you enjoyed our story.